Hi everyone, Ollie here and welcome back to the channel. This is the vlog from week three. And it's been a really busy week. Um, Monday, we were back in George Elliott Hospital. I had a full day, but I didn't see any patients. I had VP uh, and OBS, so venipuncture, learning how to take blood. Uh, we used um, mannequins we were practicing on. There were some nurses there to show us how to do it. Uh, we took plenty of video, I took photos. So thank you to my colleagues, Chris and Cleona for acting as uh, demonstrators for those videos. And it was really good fun because it's one of those technical skills that once you can do it, um, it means we're just a little bit more useful on the wards. We can now do it as part of our bedside teaching. We can be asked to take blood from patients. And it just feels like one of those things that it's like one of those tiny steps closer to being an actual healthcare professional, which is really quite exciting. We had OBS in the afternoon. So observations using news two forms to record patient vital signs, basically so looking at respirate, blood pressure, heart rate, knowing when they're in tachycardia or bradycardia. And we were also taught about how to know when you should be making a referral to a more qualified professional, like if they need to be sent to a reg or a consultant, and the SBAR form protocol that allows you to do that more efficiently. You may have actually noticed that the video looks different um, to normal. This is gonna be my new filming setup with my new camera, I'm using the Panasonic Lumix GH4, which is one of the only kind of consumer DSLRs at its price point um, that records in full 4K video. So in case you're not sure what that means, before I was recording in what's called 1080p or full HD. So there are 1920 pixels across the image by 1080 vertically. Uh, 4K is four times that, it's 3840 by 2160, which is basically just going to make everything look a lot sharper. It's a full higher resolution. And crucially, I haven't sold my Canon EOS 600D, which is what I've been using to film all my videos so far. And what that means is that I can do things like this. I can now do multiple camera setups and multiple angle interviews and it's basically going to streamline making all the videos that I normally make. Tuesday was when I actually cycled into uni uh, for the first time by myself using um, my new bike, which I bought from a guy called the Cycle Recycler in the Coventry area. Check out his Facebook page. He was an absolute pleasure to buy from. But I got my bike, I've got my helmet, I've got a lock um, and some lights. So, so all up and running, really happy. It's literally like a 12, 15 minute cycle to get from our house to uni which is so convenient. And for me, as someone who doesn't drive, I say doesn't drive, I can't drive. Um, I feel like using the phrase doesn't drive implies that I can, but choose not to. Um, no, I can't drive. So being able to just do short journeys like that. So if I want to go into Earlsdon or Coventry City Centre or into the uni, um, it just means that I'm slightly less dependent on my housemates who, to their credit, have been wonderful. Um, about ferrying me around if I need it, but it's just a nice change. For my SSC on Tuesday, I'm doing the medical education SSC. We had to prepare a four minute presentation on an idea or concept from our old degrees and be prepared to teach it in four minutes. Um, although I didn't actually have to present this week because it was a names out of a hat situation, I was doing the Lux Operon, or that's the presentation I've prepared, which put very simply is, is basically the kind of genetic mechanisms by which a certain species of squid um, produces its own light to stop it being seen when it's hunting. It uses a symbiotic bacterial relationship and it's all about the genes that those bacteria have on them and how they have this genetic circuit that generates light. So I actually quite enjoyed revisiting that and then Tuesday evening we had Meet the Parents um, so we meet our medic children for the first time, me and Tom, who you've seen on the channel before, our medic sort of partners, as it were, and we got to meet our two wonderful boys, Andrew and Dale, and the way the scheme kind of works is that two, usually two, can be one or more, older students are paired with some younger students just to make sure they are acclimatised properly and have a point of contact when they get here. So it was really lovely to meet them, and obviously I got to meet a bunch of other first years as well, um, and it's nice to be able to finally put names to faces. I've interacted with a lot of them online um, before, but I've never actually met them in person. So that's been a really nice transition as well. On Wednesday, the real big thing was the Societies Fair in the evening. So it's a chance for all the medical school societies to pitch up 
and present and it's a big recruitment drive basically so i was there representing neurosoc the neurological society and i was wandering around many of you will have seen me um, going around with a little paper brain hat uh, plopping it on people and then taking photos of them wearing the brain hat we had a great raffle run as well we had four really really good textbooks including crossman's neuroanatomy and a copy of gray's anatomy to raffle away uh, to people who signed up for the society um, they were sponsored by the association of association of british neurologists and they were a really great prize so i'm happy we were able to give those out thursday i actually went and picked up this new camera the panasonic lumix gh4 i'm very excited to have it and i really think it's going to allow me to step up my production quality so alongside the eos 600d i've been using for some time i'm really excited to see what i'm going to be able to do with it in the future that afternoon that is thursday afternoon we had our first communication skills session um, of ac1 there are a few of these there's one on diagnostic processes and things like that but this one was on telephone communication, um, small group teaching, I think there were like eight of us, and it was all about how do you carry out taking a history and doing a GP consult over the phone without being able to pick on non-verbal um, physical cues. And this was something that I actually didn't mind because I have done a lot of work with um, the Nightline Association before, so active listening is something that I've both myself been trained in and have trained others to do, and a lot of the focus on that is is picking up on what people's intent and meaning is without being able to see them so it was somewhat familiar although i did make a huge sort of faux pas in the my scenario um patient i asked them you know how's it all going said oh i'm having a sort of crushing chest pain that's radiating down my left arm so it's like right um end the call sir i think you're having a heart attack please call an ambulance but then i i just sort of said good luck and hung up because I wasn't really sure what to do. I needed to be off the phone line. My entire group looked sort of stunned and incredulous, um, but it was a good learning experience because I'll never do that again. Friday, we would normally go to hospital, um, me and Ollie from the house for the neuro teaching. We were both busy, unfortunately. I was roped into helping some staff film a project at the university. I also had to go in and see a couple of colleagues from my SSC about a journal club um, thing. We have to present a journal article basically and lead a discussion on it in one of the sessions. I think that's a week on Tuesday. So we're getting ready for that. Um, went to D&D &D in the evening, Dungeons and Dragons, for those of you who don't know, just so I can fulfill every nerd stereotype that exists. Um, Dr. Gill, ASMR phenomenon and Warwick clinical skills um, teacher joined us for that as well as some first years. We just did a taster session, but it was really nice um, just to sit and meet those first years and, and chat to them properly. It was a long session, but you know, over something of that length, it's a really good chance to sit and learn a bit more about people and make sure they're settling in properly. Then Saturday, I went to a conference for the first time in a while. It was the Inspire GermCon, which is a graduate entry medical student research conference so there were people there from Warwick and um, from the Birmingham course and the Swansea course I think among others um, a keynote speech by Professor Vinod Patel who's the head of clinical skills teaching at Warwick Medical School about his research and the protocols and things he's invented that was really interesting I actually had a bit of a nightmare getting there because I finished we finished D&D at, at like three in the morning Saturday morning I had to be at the conference for half past nine um, and I woke up on time, but I, I cycled furiously, got to the medical school just in time, only to find out that the conference was not in fact at the medical school, it was at the Arden Conference Centre, which is a mile away from there. So cycled furiously over there, the other side of campus, um, and I did make it thankfully before the keynote speech. My highlight actually from the conference, I think the speaker's name was Billy Down, but I know it was Billy something, and I'm so sorry if that isn't your name but it was a presentation called um, Building Your Surgical Portfolio, basically like a handy toolkit. And what he did was dissected the core surgical training application form, just looking at basically maximum point scoring and the things that people can be doing at medical school to make sure that they're successful. And then today has just been a bit more chill, really. I caught up on some work this morning. I've been looking over my notes from first year as well. Um, in prep for clinic tomorrow. I've got to go in for 8am 
because we are having our surgical theatre induction. How exciting. And then bedside teaching in the afternoon. So I'll be um, going with a consultant or a reg on the wards. Looked over some personal statements. I think I've done four today. I do have a couple more that I need to do. The pile is just getting bigger and bigger. But yeah, keeping busy. And that's where I'm going to wrap for now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please be sure to hit that like button for me. Leave a comment, subscribe. And don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more free videos just like this, interviews with my colleagues on the course, and a bunch of helpful medical application tips. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.